We all know as gamers that we just don't really have the best diet overall. Maybe you've been munching on a bag of chips and you also have some ramen on the side. You also have a little bit of fried chicken and you also have a soda to finish it all up. Oh, also don't forget that cupcake as well too. Listen, we're living in a convenience where you can get fast food literally around the corner and obesity is honestly a huge problem. And I feel like the world is just never going to change. Or can it? Hi, I'm Jer, one half of the Ginger Gaming Duel. And today I'm going to be talking about why it's so hard to incorporate a good diet while you're playing video games. In this video, we'll specifically be focusing just strictly on the gamer's diet and we'll be exposing other parts of our mental health, maybe exercising in other videos later on. But if you like videos like this and also cozy games with Jen, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Our next goal is to get up to 2k, so again, thank y'all so much for all the love and support, and if you're new here to the channel, thank you so much for coming by and watching our video today. And before you get on me about this and say, Hey Jared, this is a video about eating healthy, so isn't that the solution, just eat healthy? while you're playing video games? Well, if it was that easy, then why is this such a huge problem in today's society? I wanted to shed light on this because I feel like as gamers, we don't prioritize healthy eating habits. And stick to the end of the video, y'all, because I wanted to really bring up some key points that can help benefit you in the long haul while you play video games overall. And full disclaimer, my videos do revolve around mental health, so please consult a therapist if you have any sort of issues regarding this topic. And with that being said, let's get right into it. There was always a stigma back in the day where there was always a person playing WoW while, while they have a big bag of chips, fried chicken, some ramen, and a two liter coke on the side. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that actually sounds really, really good. But after college, I had no job lined up. And after I finished submitting my resume after a couple hours, I would spend the rest of the day playing Skyrim. Along with that, the diet and the laziness to make food at home, it just wasn't having it with me. So a lot of the times I would eat McDonald's and Burger Kings because it was just cheap and convenient. Mind you that DoorDash and Uber were not a thing back then as well. But now as of today, we are seeing poor eating habits from gamers. From University of New Hampshire, they did a study of about a thousand males between 18 to 24, and the survey showed that 40% of them that they played video games for five hours a week, which is actually extremely fair as a student. But the researchers also found that the ones who did play video games did eat more saturated fats and consumed more sodium, so that means more Doritos, more Cheetos, and all of them salty snacks. Also, gamers consume less vegetables and fruits while also doing less physical activity as well. So let's talk about the big reason why. Now, I know there are different things that can be causing this sort of diet issue. It could be eating disorders, anxiety, and those are heavier problems that can be sorted out with a therapist or can be briefly discussed in our channel. But I wanted to bring up one particular thing that has resonated with a lot of gamers regarding the reason why diets are so poor. And whether you're a student or you're just coming back from work, and I'm sure at some point you were seeing some amazing marketing from energy drinks, chip commercials, and exposure to brands throughout your workplace or even at school. It's hard to portion out these things because we want to eat so quickly. And also there's no disciplinary action when you have the food right in your fingertips while you're playing video games. Wheeling Jesuit University Department of Psychology back in 2007 did a study with 90 participants playing one to two video games for about 30 minutes while eating a bowl of M&Ms on the side. And at the very end of those 30 minutes, they had to rate their hunger levels, estimating how much they ate. The research actually showed that all male and female participants could not estimate how many M&Ms they ate. This term is called mindless eating. Because the game is so distracting that you can't focus on maintaining your portions, let alone keep track of it. And in a world of so much multitasking and getting things done quickly, it's really hard to get a sense of focus on your snacks or meals. When you do eat a lot of saturated foods and sugars, what does that lead to? It makes you really, really sleepy. From sustainedhealth.fit, the ever popular brand Jack Links did a survey with UK gamers that 50% of gamers played more aggressively after eating junk food and drinking soda. And after a long period of time, that bad habits will continue to progress. And from nature.com, the most consumed food types were chickens at 90% percent chips at 88 percent and sausage and cold cuts at 85 percent which to be honest is my type of favorite fruits from all of those categories so mindless eating is definitely a huge problem and it's a big contribution to why obesity is such a big thing for gamers we simply just aren't enjoying our meals anymore and we're more tuned to our screen than what it is in our plate and i wanted to bring something up as this has been a very big issue from my end as well too i've lost about 40 pounds and this is actually the best shape that i have been as of to date when jen and i were streaming during the pandemic, we would actually eat out all the time. We would eat out before the stream and we would eat out after stream as well. A lot of it would consist of in and out McDonald's and just a lot of late night snacking, which was really, really a bad deal for both of us. We realized this actually affected us in the long term as it actually affected my health 
very significantly. And as much as I might not look like a big person that I might not need to lose that much weight, there were so many things internally that were not doing well with my system to the point where I had to make a really big change in my life. So now that you know the reason why it is that we have really bad diets as gamers, what can we do about it? Focus and be present. It really is simply enjoying our food and not being distracted by doing two things at the same time. You can see this with examples like streamers. A lot of them will actually eat and only eat during their break. Embrace the moment and actually eat eat the meal for once. I feel like when it comes to food, it's really not easy to focus on what you're truly eating and enjoying a meal thoroughly. Even if you are snacking, it's good to just eat the snack by itself. This is one of the things I've struggled with as eating was more of an errand when I was young and I would consume things so quickly. Eating slower and taking your time and embracing the taste, eventually you'll realize that you won't need to have a bigger plate or a late night meal later on. Six feet. Just like how it was with COVID, you should do the same thing for your snacks. If you see snacks readily available, then you're more likely to actually get the food when it's right in front of you. We are usually very visual people and it can always be very tempting to grab food like a whole bag of chips and then the next thing you know, it's entirely gone after you're done with your match. Give yourself some distance from your food and you'll be able to give yourself the ability to ask yourself if you are truly hungry. Portion control. Relatable to the six feet, it's also a discipline of portion control. You don't really need to sacrifice too much here, but making smaller portions for yourself will really really go a long ways. Instead of eating four slices of pizzas, how about we just tone it down to two? Instead of eating a whole bag of chips, why don't we just pour a small amount and just put it into a bowl? Limiting yourself from grabbing larger portions will make a significant progress as it has for me. The last thing is healthier options. I mean this one is as obvious as it gets, but the problem is the food doesn't taste as good. Take it from me personally, I don't like this crap either, but if you give it a chance and put it into your routine, you might actually end up liking it. Yeah, I still eat some Cheetos here and there, but most of the time now, I actually go with almonds, peanuts, light string cheese, yogurt, and definitely lots and lots of water. And I'm telling y'all, don't go for those energy drinks with the high sugars. You know you will crash, and ultimately, I don't like seeing things I don't understand when I eat or drink. So drink lots of water and teas as alternatives. Those benefits will really, really help you in the long haul. I really wanted to bring up the topic of obesity and unhealthy gamer diets because it's a huge problem here in the United States. Currently, we have 19 states out of 50 that have been deemed as high obesity while 10 years ago it was just only two gaming is always fun but don't let that jeopardize you from unhealthy eating habits because if you do you won't be playing games anymore comment down below if you've ever experienced something like this if you like videos again like this hit that like and subscribe button down below and if you want to check out some more videos here's one of jen regarding co-op indie games and right down below is regarding cyberbullying my name is jer and i hope you have a great rest of your day and night bye bye y'all